Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we made it to another Sheikah Tower over by Tabantha. And now, we were told that the Great Fairy would be where the shadow of the tower goes at a certain time in the afternoon. And we are early afternoon. We can see the tower of shadow is right in front of us there. But we can also see where the tower is going to be over there, where the, where the, um, the Great Fairy thing is, so... Let's go have a look at that. We've already found a great fairy before on the other side of the world. So we may not have been expecting to find something like this over here. Now, I can slow down. Let's see what we can do. Boy. Sweet boy. Please. Listen to my story. I am the great fairy Kesa. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 500 rupees. Well, that's convenient. Once my power has been restored, I can help you to do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me, quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need 500 rupees. Thank you, you are too kind. Ah, the power! It's overflowing! So you're the one who brought me, who brought me back from the brink. Oh my, I see now that my first impression of you was correct. You most definitely are pleasant to look at. How would you like me to live here with, how would you like to live here with me, hmm? <laughs> ha, I'm kidding of course, but you certainly are cute when you're blushing. I really can't thank you enough, boy but that won't stop me from trying. If you have the materials needed to enhance a piece of clothing, I will enhance your clothes. So why don't you let me take a peek in that little pouch of yours? Mm. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. So yeah, there is actually a second fairy fountain over here. And since it's our second fairy fountain, we can now upgrade our stuff again with more monster parts than before, I believe. So let's do this. And... Okay, got it. Now close your eyes. We can now upgrade... our armor to level 2 stars. And there we go. You should be able to feel the care I put into that. It radiates off those clothes. Have you got any other clothes you like my magic to work on? I do, so I'm gonna go through this and do that now. Unfortunately, for some of these things, we're gonna need some stuff that we don't have enough of, so... Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a while till we have all of the armor at level uh. 2, so... But we were also told by the other great fairy about... Uh, set bonuses when the set is all at level 2 stars, so we'll probably have a look at that in a second as well. Oh, I'm not going to be able to enhance all of this either because I need more Hyrule Bass. Should be able to get some more at the Great Plateau, plateau if I need it though. Don't have any more things to do, so he's kicked out again. Aww. Same as the other one. And we can actually go back to the other one and do it there if we need to. So it doesn't change if we accidentally 
do this one first or anything. I, either one of the Great Fairy Fountains will work the same way. Any way that it works, sir. But you can only upgrade your armor to level 2 if you have both of the Great Fairies unlocked, so... Now, there should actually be some in this pond here, right? Or am I crazy? I might be crazy. That might be the first time we came by here, but I think it might have changed, possibly. It's been quite a while since we've been here, so... But over here is a, lot, a little bit more reliable, I think. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'm going to be very disappointed with myself. I might be wrong, and also disappointed with myself, like I just said. Hang on here, there's a there's a thing for this to make this easier. Probably. Let's go down to creatures. And if we do have a picture of it, it'll be in the water. Or oh, it could just be on a shop thing. Now what is... Is it the... That one there. Arrow bass. Target with sensor, please. Thank you. And there are actually some nearby. Over that way. I think. Yes. It does appear that way. So let's go up here. Oh, there it is. There they are. This is probably not going to be enough though. So let's grab that. There's still more somewhere around here. Over this way. Somewhere. But, um... Where is it taking me? Oh, there's some water over here. I guess that's probably where. Oh my gosh, there's plenty in here. Grab it, please. I could also put on the Zora armor to try and swim faster. Where are they? There's one over there. Oh, please. Thank you. How many do we have now? Six. I need another four. And there's two here. Grab those two. Can't. Oh, there's no more around here. That's okay. I could probably find some over by the Zora River. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Let's see if I'm actually right about that though. Because I could be wrong. Very easily wrong. Just head on down. Oh, rush room. Oh, more rush room. No, don't let go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where's the other rush room? I saw it. But then, there. Okay. Heal me. Please. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to glide. There's Varuta. Please let me grab this. Thank you. Okay, now I can glide down. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be. Or maybe it is. It might be. This little Zalfo's down there as well. Oh, is that, is that a fish? Is that a fish I need? No. Oh, but it's nearby. Looks like it's those ones over there. So let's get nice and close. Oh, please take, please take. I can also spin attack at these Octrox if I really need to. Please. There we go. And if he drops what I need, that'd be great. Also, Octrox tentacle, because we apparently we haven't had this before. This can only be obtained from an Octrox type enemy. It's too uh, acidic for cooking, but I'm, uh, but it's highly valued as an ingredient for elixirs. Okay, get out of the water. Ow. 
Looks like there's one sort of this way. Over here. Oh, it's under the water. I can see it. I just can't pick it up because it's too low. Unfortunately. Oh my gosh. Excuse you. I'm gonna drown if I don't get out of the water. Okay, how are we doing for Hyrule Bass? Got 10, that's good enough, cool. Let's head back all the way across the map. Well, there we go, it's too cold up here to stay, so let's go back to the fairy fountain. This is probably the fastest way to get to it. It's not extremely fast, but it's alright. And now that we've left and come back, there should also be fairies just floating around it, maybe? Unless I'm wrong. Which it looks like I am. Mighty Thistle. This medical plant is known for its sharp thorns and the fruit it, if the fruit it bears. The fruit contains a compound that increases attack power when cooked into a dish. I might actually have taken a picture of these. No, I, yeah, I've got a picture of those already for some reason. Might have been in a shop or something. But there's quite a few of them growing around here. Which means it probably expects you to buy something or get some armor that is good for that. And there's also this other way down here that if we go down actually c comes out over here which is another way of just getting up here in the first place so anyway let's have a look at upgrading our thing here also an endura carrot here Highly valued as a medical plant this carrot contains large amounts of nourishing energy when cooked into a dish it boosts your stamina beyond your, its maximum limit. That's good to know. But anyway, let's talk to the Great Fairy again. Uh. I thought I detected the fragrance of a young man nearby. So, have you come? <laughs> yes, I want to improve my things. Okay. Let's do that one. And the animation is different now that we're leveling up to level 2. Let's enhance again. Although I also want to have a look at what else I need to enhance. Stuff. So Moblin Guts. Sunset Fireflies. Hightail Lizard. And yeah, that's about it. Okay. I just need lots more materials. But anyway. Hmm. Let's do the Zora Greaves. Wait, did I do the other two already? Hang on. Apparently, okay, so I didn't need ten, I just needed five. No, I've, I just did, okay, never mind, I'm just silly because I forgot I already upgraded one of them. On this visit, for some reason, somehow. Okay. And now, let's have a look at our, our things here. Now, if I do that. Okay. So, now that it's all level 2, we have the swim speed up by level 3, underneath the temperature gauge there. But it also has set bonus of swim dash stamina up. Which probably means that when we dash in water now, with all three Zora armor on, it means that we won't take as much stamina, probably, when dashing. This could have been useful just a little bit earlier, but it didn't matter anyway. So now, let's have a look at the Hylian gear. That doesn't have any special effect, apparently, but that's alright. And I don't think anything else is at level 2 yet, so we don't, can't check any of that. So... Our highest level of defense now is level 24. Pretty good. It's gonna be useful as we fight things now. Looks like I might have to cook up some normal, some more regular meals as well, though. So now that that's done, let's head back to the road. And then, have a look at going to that shrine. Since not only is there a shrine there, but there's also... 
Uh, it's where one of the pictures are taken on our Sheikah Slate. So we need to go there as well. Well, we need to do that while we're there as well. No, it's, just, it's not a different place. It's the same place. Also, I'm pretty sure that there's supposed to be an easier way to get up this thing, but I don't know if I'm right about that or not. I might be wrong. I'm just going to go around the base a little bit to make sure I'm getting this right. I think I normally just climb up anyway. Oh, hey, is this a Korok? It is. I love just finding random Koroks. I'm gonna let go of that. Now, path goes down this way. And then, surely there's a way that doesn't involve me climbing something. Surely? Maybe further around this way? There's also a, an offering thing. Yeah, there it is. That's the way you're supposed to go. I don't think I've ever gone up that way. But, you know. Small steps. Okay. Grab all that. And it looks like we need two apples. I should have enough. Yes, I do. Let's drop that one there. Just bounces back in because of the physics of, of these things being very useful. And there we go, another Korok. Number 55. That's one-eighth of what we need. We're almost one-eighth of what we need for all of the upgrades, so. Oh, there's more Rush Room as well. Is that Rush Room up there? It might be. I don't know if I can get it though. Without climbing. Just head in this direction. Oh, there's a fair bit of it on over here. If only I could get it without having to climb all the way up. And a lot of, no, that's not actually. Hang on. Am I getting fooled? It looks weird. Also, I feel like. No, I have got that. Because that looks like two things. No, that's a swift violet. This is a rush room. Definitely. Just gonna have that come to me. Very satisfying. I don't know if there's anything up some of these pillars, because it, there could be a cork on top of one of the pillars. But I don't really know. Let's just climb up this, please. Oh dear, that's not good. This is actually fairly high, and I'm not wearing my climber's bandana. Should probably put that back on, since that's useful. Looks like there's some... Um, luminous stone over that way as well. I think there's also possibly a Korok or something else down there. I might actually want to go down there. Oh, what's all this? Up Oh my goodness, there's just going to be enemies. Oh, hello! It is a Korok. I'm glad I came up here, randomly, and got lucky. Okay, there we go. Just going to throw that away. And let's head down. Well, I might actually pin this thing over here for later. Since I kind of just want to get this thing up here and then move on. So I'm going to... Mark over there as a star, probably. Hello. Press the button. There we go. Star, just for... Go have a look at this thing. That seems to be just how I'm going to do it. I think that's my last arrow. That's unfortunate. But anyway. Let's just go up this way. I can probably ignore what's the enemies at this thing over here. They look fairly strong. Somewhat. I don't know if they have any... Oh, there's a thing over there. Of course there is. Well, maybe I can get a picture of it. Ah, uh, well, no. I don't know. Also, there's these over here. If I can get some of them. Because I need them for upgrades. 
And it looks like there's a little bit of a something different over here. A rugged rhino beetle. I feel like I'm mumbling at the moment. Just a little bit. This beetle's hard uh, body re resembles armor. When the shell is cooked the monster part with monster parts, the resulting elixir boosts your defense. Okay, good to know. Let's grab some more of these. If I want more of them, these as well, the Sunset Fireflies, I can probably get them at the Great Plateau. If I desperately need them. Apparently that was close enough, I didn't think it was, but alright. Considering I couldn't take a picture of it. Oh, did I just scare it off? I did, because I was still moving when I had the camera out. That's unfortunate. Anyway. Let's head up this way. There's a few keys around, apparently. Just wanting to make my life a little bit more... ...something. Wouldn't say it's a good something, but it's definitely something. Ancient Columns. This place looks cool. Oh, I hear that. I know that sound. And I didn't realize that that would be here. Oh, that's actually just that, probably. Oh, hello, Keese. Trying to make things difficult again. Oh, he woke up. He woke up. Well, I can probably still ignore him as long as I just keep moving. Oh, there's another one there. Oh dear, this is not going to end well. Ow! Oh my goodness, what shot me? Was it that guy? I hope it's not that guy! Oh my goodness. Let me just drop that there. Let me... hang on. We can see the thing there, but I need to get rid of this guy first. Oh, well, this is not going to end well if I don't eat food. Oh, perfect. Let's go with that. Please. Please. Please, thank you. Well, let's take his guts. Since we need that for upgrades. Why is the music still playing? Okay, it's done. Oh, and hello there. Another Korok. To add to my random collection of Koroks that I just found in this area. That I wasn't planning on finding. But I don't think I ever plan to find Koroks, they just kind of find me. Chilfin Trout. I'm pretty sure we've had a look at this before. Because I'm, I might have taken a picture of it in the shop. And I already know what it does, so... But anyway, now that we're actually at the shrine and we have a memory here, let's recall. Please, let me... Let me... Please, please, please. Oh my goodness. Hang on. There's the thing up there as well. Okay, recall. Just as I thought. Hmm. It appears that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. But designs can always be worked around. At least I hope. How do I get inside? I need to activate it somehow. I thought I made it clear that I'm not in need of an escort. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. 
I, the person in question, am fine, regardless of the king's orders. Return to the castle and tell that to my father, please. And stop following me! So there we go. It seems Zelda wasn't happy with Link. At least near the beginning of their journey together. I don't think I'm going to get that. It looks like it's in a place where it's not going to be easy to get anyway, so. But yeah, I, th I thought that was an important memory to get out of the way fairly early. So that's why I did it. As for the shrine though, I don't think I'm actually able to complete it at the moment. Because a major test of strength. Pretty sure it auto-saved as soon as I came in here, so. Let's at least go in, and I might actually make sure I'm prepared for this. So, I think, let's put on our best armor. And we should be mostly alright in terms of everything else. Still have my Royal Claymore, which is good. Now, did the door behind me lock yet? I don't think it did, so I'm going to just quickly save, just so it doesn't put me back with nothing that I've equipped already. Let's have a look at this. Because it's a major test of strength, I would highly recommend not doing this now. These things are very strong, and it's just not the time for it at the moment. Oh. Although it might be good to take a picture of you, just in case I do actually win this. I doubt that's going to happen. Ow. Oh, he did half my health in one move. This is the main reason why I would not recommend doing this now. Let's eat that. If you can get some fly rushes in, that'll be good. But otherwise, he's got a lot of health. And you're not going to do much damage to him. Instead, he's just going to do damage to you. Okay, my Royal Claimer is badly damaged. That's not good. Oh, there it goes. That's fine. I didn't mean to do that. I don't even think I pressed that. The game says otherwise. Okay. If you can use the pillars to stun him, that's probably your best chance of actually winning this. Okay. Just gonna hold back a little bit. Fly rushes would be really good. Okay, just gonna stand up here. And if I had that um arrow still, that would have been good as well. For this. Come on. Oh, he's doing that again. Please break on the pillar. Okay, don't want to do that when I'm too close, and he's doing other things. Oh dear, this is going to be interesting. Although, I think I might actually get, go through some weapons, which would be good. But if I run out of weapons, that would be bad, so... Oh, I have a level a 50 attack weapon, that's good to know. If you could not break the camera, please, that'd be good to know. Oh. Oh, bad, 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 bad. It's fine, okay. Just running out of the pillars is the problem at the moment. Very nice. Okay, it's fine. Okay, just be careful. Oh, he's doing a spin again. Still running out of pillars. I definitely don't want to do. Let's 
gonna get back here and do that. That was pretty good. Not perfect, but really good. Let's get way back. And if I can, I'd like to shoot him with a bomb arrow. Or maybe a few. Hit him in the eye does more damage. Come on, I would be, I'm going to be very surprised if I actually do get this now. Okay, his shield's up. Oh, please don't break the pillar. Oh, does he actually get, no he doesn't, okay. It looked like he was getting stuck on that for a second. Uh oh, this is not good. He's doing that again. Just need to stay out of his range. And shoot him a few more times with these. Oh, actually he got him in the eye. Nice. Um, let me change my arrows, just in case I need need that. Okay, this is not good. He's gonna start doing his, his thing. So I need to try and take him out before then. Just like that. It's highly recommended not fighting in a major test of strength this early on, so... But I somehow managed to do it. Let's get this Guardian Shield plus plus, I think. That's just how strong this is. It's plus plus. Ancient Battle Axe plus plus. And... Oh, I might need to move the other things out of the way first. Oh, if it will let me. Ancient Battle Axe plus plus. 60 attack. This Ancient Battle Axe's damage output is scaled up to peak performance. Ancient technology makes it possible to enhance cutting power beyond metal weapons limits. Oh, is this not gonna let me? Here, I can take a picture now. Guardian Sword Plus Plus. Guardian Sword Plus Plus. 40 attack. The abilities of this Guardian Sword have been boosted to the maximum, as evidenced by, uh, as evidenced by its increase in size. It slices through armor like a hot knife through butter. That is very true. Guardian Shield Plus Plus. The output level of the shield has been boosted to maximum. Its combat capabilities surpass those of metallic shields, and it can deflect guardian beam scout beams. Well, let's drop a shield because I definitely don't need a level two. Although I think I will get rid of, get rid of, get rid of, get rid of my rusted one. So now we have some really good gear if we used all of our guardian stuff. Really good gear, but we're probably not going to use it because we don't want to break it and then waste it. I want to use it against stronger enemies, like another major test of strength, probably. Knight's Halberd. A spear... Oh, level 13 attack. Oh my goodness, game. A spear used by knights is adept in mounted combats. This spearhead is modeled after an axe. Why would it give me that after a major test of strength? I don't understand. So, now that we've done that, it's time to remove this marker, for one thing. And, we're going to head back over to here, and start heading towards the area up there. But that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time.